fabric we need for this window. That's how we work out how much joining we need for the sides. We've got four joining for this window, right? That's from the 85 inches, we work out the width of it to give us the join. And that is how we work out the quantity of our fabric for our window before we actually make it up. So you need to go to the shop and now buy 10.5 meters of fabric with where well, they don't sell five, so you've got to go over. So it's ten and a quarter meters of fabric. Did you get that? That is how we work out our fabric quantity and how many joinings for our window. But I'm going to do that again for you. We're going to give another figure. You tell me another figure, and I'll and I'll do it for you. Or you work it out yourself and let me know whether it comes out right or not. Bearing in mind that this working out does not allow for pattern repeat. That's another subject. So let's do this again. Without this drawing, I'll do it the measurements so you can have it neater. No, I'll do the drawing smaller so you have the drawing. Here we go. Let's do a big window. Mm. Which is a patio window. No, no, let's do a bay window. A bay windows normally varies, depends on what area you're in. They're normally 166 inches wide, they're about or wider, right? So let's do a window, a bay window. Hundred and sixty-six inches. All right? Let's give. Let's say you've got very high windows, which is one hundred and twenty inches. That's very rare. That's probably in the Battersea area. All right? So let's say the drop of the curtain is one hundred and twenty inches. Now I need you to quickly get your calculator and a bit of pen and do this with me. So what we're going to do first, we're going to work out the top first. We're going to work out how many joinings we need in our plain fabric to put in this window. And times by 2.5 equals 166 times by 2.5 equals 415. All right, but we have to convert that because we need to know how much drops we need. So what we're going to do now is take the 400 and bring it down, 415 inches. We're going to now divide it by the width of our fabric that we've just bought, which is 54 inches, divided by 54 inches, and this will give you... 54. This will give you how many joinings you need. That gives me 7.68. Have you got your calculator? Are you following me? All right. 70. But that's an odd number. So you can either round it up or round it down. On this one, I recommend bay windows. I recommend you round this one down because it's so it's a little but today I'm gonna round it up all right the reason why I round it down for bay windows if it was this length and it was a straight window I wouldn't round it down because when it goes around the corner in that bend you don't need so much fabric that's why I'd round it down but the same measurement on a straight window big window I would not round it down I'll round it up it's all depends on you because if you round it down, it's more or less coming to, say, I think, two point, two point quarter of the window. 
that's all just a little bit so anyway we round it up so we get rid of that 7.6 and we round it up and now we've got eight joining so we've got eight drops to put in this window so we have four on this side two three four and we have four on that side two three four joining so now we've established how much joining we've got for this window we're now going to work out we're now going to work out the quantity of your fabric 120 inches 120 inches add six for my hem six inches for my hem and two inches add two inches for the top, which is the hem at the top, the top, right? So that's six, that's eight, so it's a hundred, hundred and twenty-eight inches drop. So you have to buy the fabric to allow for your hem, right? So now, now we now take a hundred and twenty-eight, we bring it down here, hundred and twenty-eight inches. Hundred and twenty eight inches times by eight, which is how many joinings you're putting it in, times by eight drops. One eight who times by eight equals that equals equals one thousand and 24 but we inches but we ne now need to know how many meters so we now have to bring that down again it's like long division actually we bring it down here again one oh two four and now we divide that figure by 39 which is a meter 39 inches is in a meter so we now divide it by 39 inches and that gives us divided by 39 inches gives us equals 26.5 me 20 25 meters meters of fabric So let's recap. The width of our window is 166 inches. Times that by two and a half times gives you 100 and uh, 415 inches. Take that, bring it down here, divide that by 54 inches. That gives you eight drops, right? So that's that sorted out. We know we need eight joinings for our window one two three four this side one two three four that side and because it's a bay window right and some of you might want two curtains in the middle and two curtains at the end right so curtains in the middle which you know all you do is you join two up and put it there because it's the same amount of quantity will duck will suffice so two joinings go here and two joinings go here two joinings go there and two joining it's still the same quantity eight so we've established we need eight joining for our window now we have to work out how much uh, fabric we need and don't forget this is not including pattern repeat this is plain fabric so here we now 120 inches is our drop right so here it is six inches is my seam allowance for, for the hem now some of you work um, use a two inch finish hem which is four inches in it right there's a there's a reason behind that why I don't use a two, two inches um, and if you watch my video that explains to you why um, it, it makes it it's so much easier if you just use this one all right so anyway 126 inches add six add two for the top of it comes up to 120 inches 
uh, which is now your finished, uh, not finished, is now the length of your drop. So we've added eight inches on there. 